Diffusion B, Stable Diffusion on your Mac, drag and drop an application into your applications folder and run it and you're good to go. In the new release, you can actually load custom models. You just click on the DMG file, then when you double click the DMG, it'll launch the applications and you can drag and drop it into your applications folder. Select the model that you want, create a hugging face account, download all these the C CPK files and note keywords that you need for these particular ones. That in your your prompt, use that to make the style. Launch the application. Install these, click on this little hamburger looking thing at the top here. Your settings, wherever you have those models saved to. But you just say add model, select open. And it's gonna take a little minute to import the model itself. So you can remember what the keyword is for it to trigger this particular model. And once it's imported, it's really, really simple to switch it over. But once that's all done loading, you go under options, scroll down to models. And then now that we have it all imported, all of our models will show up down here. Now that I have Archer selected, just make sure you have that at the beginning because the earlier you put the words in your uh, prompt, the more strength it's gonna have the more uh, effect it will have in your image. Add negative prompts, uh, meaning like words you don't want included, like information you don't want. Too many eyes or something like that. And it'll exclude that from the image. Just hit generate. It'll take a little minute. It'll load the model. Almost done generating. All right, let's see here. Boom, and that's a little sound effect too. Wow, gave me glasses. <laughs> the arcane one kind of came out a little funny. I like it though. Like. The hairstyle, the, this odd colored teeth is, is great.